you seen a girl around? Uh, short hair with a bright green bag? Sorry. Shit. She said she'd meet me here. She's probably running late. Yeah. She used to be really reliable. When we were at school, she was my rock. She always let me copy her notes. She would never have kept me waiting like this. Sometimes it feels like she's changed. People change. It's stupid, but... I'm kind of scared she's outgrowing me. Like, maybe she's changing, but I'm just staying the same. I'm just, I don't know, dead weight. She agreed to meet you in the middle of the night, in the rain. No one does that if they don't care. I guess that's true. Oh, I feel like kind of an asshole for asking her out now. She's probably ruining her shoes in this weather, just so we can get drinks. Maybe you can pick up the tab. <laughs> that's a good idea. I'll have to stop you there, sir. Hey, mister. You're being told politely. So come on. I'm gonna be rich. Get the hell out of here. I got this flyer, and it says I can make a lot of money to be in some experiment. They don't want people like us for that sort of thing. No, they only want people like us. Yo. The fly is dead, though. That means it's too dangerous for rich people. That's got hush written all over it. Using the desperate for personal gain. Maybe this is a way for you to get to the bastard. Oh. Oh, I'm going. This is my chance. I just need to find out where it is. Uh, the flyer has a symbol I need to fly on the building. That flyer they started handing out to the homeless really got me. Yeah, it freaks me out how they're different when they eat. Yeah, I'd say they're different. Come on. I'm gonna get an umbrella when I'm rich. I am boots. Sit, I'll get a house. I'm never going out in the rain again. No! 
afraid. But she's still in the bathroom, I'm afraid. Obviously. Why haven't you convinced them to come out? I explicitly told you to do that. Yes, I know. It would be a lot easier if we could just drop You got the bastard, Hush. Now go get Imogen Royce and we can get to the core. Where the hell is he? You gotta find him. Command? Anybody there? Come in! Okay, shit. This just got serious. Area clear. Proceeding to next sector. Search the area. We have to find the perp. I understand. John looks a bit like an imbecile when he's awake, too. Yeah, he does a bit, doesn't he? It's a little sore, but it's nothing I can't live with. Sir, you've got the wrong place. You don't qualify for the homeless shelter. Rain, rain, nothing but rain. You can say that again. Ah, oh, my knee is so sore. Why is that? I fell over because the homeless woman.
get back. I'll get it back. Who are you? I don't know who you are. I don't know any of you. If I could just get some quiet. Stop the machine for screaming at me. You should come home earlier. guide on the facility tour. Spare me the pleasantries. I've had an awful flight. Nine hours delayed, luggage lost somewhere along the way, and the airline is trying to avoid their responsibility. I'm hungry and I'm tired, and I want to straighten everything out before I'm doing your turn. Yes, so sorry about your flight. Just let me know. So, someone is here for a tour of the facility. Might be a way to get in. Oh, when you're ready. Oh, Are you hungry? Did you bring sir? the P41 we left for you in the apartment? No. I wasn't informed that I should. Oh, very sorry, Mr. Pritchard. We need you to bring the P41 to get the tour. It's procedure. Please pick it up before you come and buy it. You need clearance to pass, and you don't have it, buddy. So, go away.
I've just learned that your plane will be delayed beyond the lifetime of the entry code you received for the facility. For your convenience, we've set up the new code to be 0118 to match the one for the apartment. I hope you enjoy your stay. Hi, Chanty here. Mr. Pritchard, I'm just calling to tell you to bring your P41 for the facility tour. Thank you. Mr. Pritchard, I just read your report and share your concerns regarding facility leadership behavior. I fully back your decision to inspect and I would appreciate updates on your initial findings as they come in. Wish I had something juicy for you. Did you hear that? Go see what's going on. Okay. Get your gas. Nice one. What? what was... Jesus. Oh my God. What's the matter, buddy? Uh, huh? Guards. Hey, man. Oh, shit.
I swear I used to be able to stick other way. No, I'm not meeting him at the apartment. He went straight to the restaurant. Guess he was hungry after the nine-hour flight delay. I'll give him the tour of the facility when he's ready. Yeah, I'll keep you updated. Sure thing. I'm ready to inspect the facility now. Good. I hope you enjoyed the food. Did you bring the P-41 we left for you in the apartment? Yes, I have everything I need. Good. Let's continue the tour. Continue, you may say. We haven't even started the tour yet. But we have. Without you even noticing it, Mr. Pritchard. Invisibility is the best security there is. You see, the restaurant is in fact... Oh, shit! Oh, no! Help! We need a doctor here right now! You have a security... This here. Are you to blame for this? What's the problem? Seriously? Does anyone know this guy? Hey, you. You hearing impaired? And we're in. The inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours. Doesn't look like much, does it? Ms. Chen and visitor, welcome. Please report to security desk for visitor sign-in. Will do. I love the facility AI. It's really looking out for us. Inside is a self-contained modular build that can be disassembled and removed in less than 12 hours if we are compromised. No trace we will ever hear. I agree. Leaving no trace behind is the only sensible MO. The outside shell is a building marked for demolition. We've put a hold on it with city planning. A deliberate misplacement of the order. But have people in place to rectify that? At first shift, city construction will move in. Our policy around ICA personnel is that they are a resource, but also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Me. Please give me your P41, Mr. Richard, so I we can get things rolling. Yeah, sorry. 
What? Shut up. Just let me make sure it doesn't catch fire. Hey! Ah, oh, good. Okay, thanks. Hand over your head. Me too. Sleep tight. This is a direct order. Please comply. Hands over your... Also a risk. On top of contractual repercussions if breaches occur, we perform detailed vetting on everyone. The first, blunt vetting, is a frisk. We have, of course, never had any employees trying to bring unauthorized weapons inside the facility, but we do consider the step important. I'll need to start the setup of your visitor security clearance here, Mr. Pritchard. Hey, it's me. Could I please have your Sorry P41? To wake you up, but I think I forgot to turn off the coffee machine when I left. Thanks. I'll get the procedure started. Yeah, sorry. Wait just be a few moments. Just so make sure it doesn't have to have a look around. I'll meet you oh, on the other side of okay. the frisk. Thanks. Naturally, you'll have to be frisked like everyone else. No exceptions, Mr. Pritchard. You can hack that panel with your camera, 47. There's no way you're getting through that door, 47. It only opens for people with an authentic security clearance. The signal is encrypted. Without a dongle, we can't hack it. Anything in the frisk ever. I suppose it's why they're there. Preventative measures. Sir!
Great. Good, you're here. I've started the security clearance process. It will take a little while since you're covered by the Zero Protocol. All your data will be encrypted and inaccessible without your authorization. Only Facility AI will use it for ID analysis. Fully anonymized, of course. But we can go a few more steps on the tour while it's validating. ID analysis? What the hell does that mean? Give me a minute. I'll try to find out. As I said, personnel is the greatest asset, but also the greatest risk of the ICA. The work we do here exerts high-level pressure on our employees, and there is no room for mistakes. We perform a daily, multi-layered, full-body scan to guarantee that no employee will act erratically because of PTSD or other mental issues, drug use, physical health issues, external pressure, or moral hesitancy. The scan only takes a few seconds. Come on, it's this way inside. I'm sorry, but we can't proceed beyond this room That's until your security close. clearance is finalized. So why don't you have a little look around while we wait, Mr. Pritchard? It should be here shortly. Shit. We need to intercept that 47, or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. Good. Right. I'm in. That's it. And I'm calling you're safe. That was a close one. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Security protocol overruled. This is your final warning. I mean it. Perfect timing. Someone. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. I'm not buying that outfit. I'm not buying it. I'm just what not. I'm con Shit. We need to intercept that 47. Or the facility AI will blow your cover. Get me into one of those computers and do it fast. You've got 60 seconds before all hell breaks loose. Good, I'm in. And you're safe. That was a close one. Perfect timing. Your clearance just came through. Let's continue. Let's step inside. I'm thinking about getting some so, of those glasses. See, we are very serious about security. What we protect is, after all, core to all ICA operations. We, and we alone, store all legal work, contracts, target profiles, employee files, contract documentation and validation, and so forth. Furthermore, we handle all current operations, effectuate logistics of personnel and equipment. Our analysts do the client vetting, target profiles, and of course, offer real-time contract support to handlers and operatives. Storage and transmission of sensitive information like that takes constant vigilance to keep safe. We have a team of engineers solely dedicated to that task, and on top of that, we have a dual human authentication process set up. All access and alterations to the source are authenticated by Hush and Royce through that implant. Oh, good. There she is. That's Imogen Royce. Quite the bitch, apparently. Hi, Nothing wrong Imogen with her look, Royce. though. I've been looking Edgy. forward to meeting you. Likewise. After you. This is the blast and EMP shielded call room, the nervous system of the ICA, where we store the past and facilitate the present. In general, only a handful of people can access this room. Hush and myself, plus bodyguards and a chosen few of the engineers. 
I'm the most likely person to meet him here because I perform a regular physical check-in on the core console as a supplement to the remote authentication procedure. We have a strict routine of daily call maintenance. Part of that procedure is a flash process evaporating all biological matter in the room. You can see Reed through that window. It's her job to initiate the maintenance. Don't worry, we're safe as long as the safety mechanism is engaged. Even if Reed presses the button, the procedure will not happen until we leave the call room. The doors to the call room are all equipped with... <sighs> you know what, screw this tour. I know why you're really here. Cunning to the chase, I see. Knowledge is power. More importantly, knowledge is opportunity. Let me demonstrate. You have a sixth sense for irregularities. And although Hush's recent behavior has not been reported, it has no doubt brought you here. You do have authority to shut down unwanted efforts, but at heart, you are progressive and not the stickler everyone thinks you are. You have sway with the board, and as I see it, your opinion is now what decides my future and the future of the ICA. So here we go. Imagine this. Having a time schedule on a target with minute details on locations, durations, and purpose. A detailed layout of a target's actions within a defined time frame. That would transform a contract into a surgical dance of precision. No mess, no fuss, low cost. Just how I like it. I've been working on a prediction algorithm based on a combination of big data analysis and micro-targeted surveillance of defining target markers and my results are astounding. All this state of the art is nothing but heavy old fashioned machinery compared to what I offer. Analysts preparing detailed files, dedicating days, weeks to prepare our contracts, gone. Handlers and analysts supporting our operatives during missions, gone. Teams for cleanup and media manipulation in the rare case something unforeseen does happen, all of it, gone. I asked you to imagine that scenario. But what good is imagination when you can see it with your own eyes? I've set up a little demonstration yeah, for you. Hey. Three employees unaware that I can accurately predict their behavior. Firing them will result in an already clearly defined reaction. On the top left, we have Sharon Reed, who you saw downstairs. She is a dutiful and trusted employee. If she is to be fired, my algorithm predicts with a certainty of 97.8% that she will finish up her most important tasks before she leaves the building. Specifically, she will press the maintenance button within 11 seconds. Jeremy Bolt. The guard in the lower left is as tough as nails when on duty. But in private, he's a real mummy's boy. If fired, he will immediately call his mother and at her advice, seek out who he considers his best friend for support. My personal guard, as it stands. Me? Really? Well, that explains why he's always next to me at lunch. At the top right, you see Alicia Reynolds. Bright and very passionate about her job. However, also very possessive about her contribution. My prediction is that she will try to disable the work she has done for the ICA. If she's not allowed to enjoy her results, no one is. Specifically, that means she will try to enter the call room and disable the safety mechanism. I'll leave you to consider your choice of who you want me to use for the demonstration. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. I will have a closer look. Maybe your project could play a part in the future of the ICA. Just let the guard outside the door know when you're ready, and I'll be right back. Oh, and if you decide to leave the room, a guard will escort you around. Safety protocol. Thought I'd just mention it. She really takes the term God complex to a whole new level. Sitting in there pulling the strings like that. I think you should take her setup and give it a spin, 47. I see potential if you time it right.
I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Don't mind me, sir. I'll be escorting you around. Procedure. I'm ready to see Royce now. I'll let her know. The VIP is ready to see you. You've had a closer look and made your choice of who to let go? I have. I'll let you have the honors and be the one to perform the demonstration. Go ahead and choose the subject. The facility AI will handle the situation. You just enjoy the show. The dutiful one. <laughs> You've got a mean streak, Mr. Pritchard. You go for the drama, I see. Don't worry, it's quite safe. The guard will prevent her from doing any damage. Alicia Reynolds. I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Oh, no, you don't. Not now. I will not accept this. If they don't want me, they don't want my work. Only logical conclusion there is. Well... I'll rid them of any trace I was ever here and see how they like that. Yes, why not? Notice the precise time estimates in the prediction. It should match within a 3% margin. Jeremy Bolt, I regret to inform you that Code 41 is now effective for your employment status. Thank you for your service. Code 41 is confirmed effective for your employment status. But not good. Mom, it's Jerry. I think I've just been fired. I have no idea. I thought it was going really well. I like it here. I can't believe it. But who, though? Friends. Oh, you mean Vincent? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go see him then. Okay, I'll call you later. I trust you're convinced by the demonstration and agree that this is the future for the ICA. I mean, how could you not? So, you'll probably want to dive into the project documentation and write your recommendations right away. 
You're free to use my office. I'll tell the guard outside to escort you out of the facility when you're done. I'm looking forward to upscaling my project. Goodbye, Mr. Pritchard. Good. That's both targets down. I just need to override this, and I'm in. You can get out now and I can take care of the data remotely. Unless you want to handle it yourself. Okay, great. Oh, bad enough losing the job. I don't want to lose my best buddy, too. Should I know you? Do you know this man? shell causing shockwaves across the world, the so-called ICA files, the disclosure of a... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know, most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered. He is unstoppable, and he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards, and I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me.